forts and hill stations. If you like visiting forts, then Pune district is the best place to be. There are so many forts in Pune. Have you heard of Sihagad Fort? It is very close to Pune city. It is almost 2000 years old. It was named Kondana after the sage Kaundinya. Many battles were fought on this fort. The most famous battle was fought here by Tanaji Malusare, a general of Shivaji. Tanaji climbed up the steep cliff to the fort at night with the help of a ghorpad, a large lizard. He fought a fierce battle there. Tanaji died in the battle but his men captured the fort. Shivaji was very sad to hear about Tanaji's death. He said, Gad ala pan simha gela. We gained the fort but lost the lion. Then, in memory of Tanaji, the fort was named as Sihagad. You can drive to the top of the fort or go trekking up. The view from the top is fabulous. You can also see the historic gates, military stables and temples from Shivaji's time. The sunset from Sihagad looks great too. The fort of Purandar is in the Saswar Taluka. Purandar was an important fort of Shivaji's time. Shivaji's eldest son, Sambhaji, was born at this fort. There is a statue of Murarbaji Deshpande at Purandar. Murarbaji was a brave general of Shivaji who died protecting the fort from the Mughals. When the Peshwas were ruling, they went to Purandar whenever Pune was attacked. When the British ruled India, they used it as a prison and then as a place for sick soldiers to take rest. One more fort is Rajgad, which means King of Forts. It was the capital of Shivaji Maharaj's kingdom for almost 25 years. It used to be known as Murumdev. Then Shivaji Maharaj renamed it to Rajgad. There is a lake at the top of the fort which is known as Lake Padmavati. The view from the top of the fort is awesome. Torna is a good fort to visit too. It is very close to Rajgad. It is a very old fort and was built in the 13th century. That means about 700 years ago. It was the first fort that Shivaji Maharaj captured. It is also the highest fort in the Pune district. Sakan is a fort to the north of Pune city. A fierce battle was fought on this fort between Shivaji's general Firangoji Narsara and the Mughal general Shaiste Khan. This fort is very rare because it is built on the ground. Normally, forts are on hilltops. The last war between the Marathas and the British took place 
at the Chakan Fort. So, it is in really bad shape and is falling apart. There is a temple in the fort in which the Varaha Avatar of Lord Vishnu is shown in stone carvings. They are really worth seeing. Shivneri Fort is the birthplace of Shivaji Maharaj and is a great historical fort to visit. You can see the place where Shivaji Maharaj studied as a child and even his home. There are statues of Jizabai and Shivaji and a temple in the fort too. There are many other forts like Harish Chandragad, Korigad, Lohgad, Visapur, etc. in the Pune district. Won't you like to visit them all? Many people like to visit hill stations on a vacation. A hill station is on top of a hill. The climate is good, the scenery is nice. It is a good change from our fast and busy city life. There are many good hill stations to visit in Pune. People like to go to Lonavla and Khandala. If you go just after the rainy season, you can see a lot of waterfalls too. Close to Lonavla, you can visit the Karla Caves. These caves are almost 2000 years old. There are lots of carvings done in stone that are simply amazing. Very close to the Karla Caves are the Bhaje Caves. They are also very ancient caves that are worth visiting. There are a lot of rock sculptures here. The Karle and Bhaje Caves are one of the best ancient rock-cut caves in India. 